Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host Brian Heisler and today we're going to look at scientific notation and some of the basics behind it. So let's get started. So some information for you about scientific notation. Basically it's a way to represent very large numbers or very small numbers using a specific format. And that format is let's say A which is some number times 10 raised to a certain power. And that number that you're multiplying by 10, in this case A, has to be a number between 1 and 10, not including the number 10. Basically, it has to be a single digit number. It could be 1 or 2 or 5 or some decimal, you know, 3.2 or 6.87, as long as it's between 1 and 10. That's what you want to keep in mind. And then as far as the exponent is concerned, there's a couple of rules. If your exponent is negative, you're dealing with a very, very small number, a small decimal. If your exponent is positive, you're dealing with a very large, large number, maybe the millions, the billions, the trillions, or even bigger. And then your exponent, the way you figure out what number to use is you count the number of spots you're moving your decimal point, and that's going to be the exponent you use. So we're going to look at an example of a very large number and an example of a very small number, and we're going to see what it looks like. So let's get started. Very simply stated question, write 250 million in scientific notation. So let's figure out how to write that in the format that we looked at before. I'm going to go ahead and write my number down here. 250, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. And I want to take this and write it in a format where it's some number times 10 to some power. So I'm just going to write that now and then I'll fill in the rest. What you want to do is starting from the left to the right, you want to put your decimal point after the first non-zero number. So in this case, the first non-zero number is 2. I'm going to put my decimal point right there. And then you're going to take that number, which is really 2.5, and that's going to be your number out in front of your times 10. So 2.5. And what you would do for this number is you would write every digit that's there until you got to all zeros at the end. Well, 2.5 is all that's there before there's all zeros, so I'm going to leave that there. Now we need to figure out our exponent up here. It's going to be a positive exponent because we're talking about a very large number. So the way I'm going to figure out what number to use is I'm going to count how many spaces it takes me to get my decimal point here all the way to the end. So I'm going to count them one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I moved it eight spots. That's going to be my exponent. And this right here is the scientific notation of 250 million. So let's take a look at a very small number now, a decimal. Again, a very simply stated question, write 0 0.0000143 in scientific notation. And so I'm going to go ahead and write my number down, 0 0.0000143. And I want to figure out how to write this as some number times 10 to some power. So. Taking the same idea as before, what you want to do is you already have a decimal point here. You want to figure out how many spots do I need to move this until it's after the first non-zero number. So the first non-zero number is 1. So I need to move this from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots until it gets to after the first non-zero number. Since we're talking about a very, very small number, my exponent has to be negative and I moved it five spots, so it's a negative five. Now I just need to figure out what's the number in front here. Well, the number in front is the decimal you're left with after moving your decimal point. In this case, 1.43. And so 1.43 times 10 to the negative fifth is going to be the scientific notation of this very small decimal point. So I hope this helps you out as you look at representing numbers in scientific notation. You want to take and look to see what's your first non-zero number. You want to take and figure out how many spots do I need to move my decimal point. And remember, your number in front of the times 10 has to be between 1 and 10. And then your exponent, if it's a really large number, it's a positive exponent. If it's a really small number, it's a negative exponent. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.